Hey what's up guys, this is Rich or iTemp as some of you may know me and just before I get into the main part of this video I just want to point out this spawn rush that I uh, use every single game that I spawn on the A side of uh, this map which is Arkadon. I throw my portable radar down there just to see if there's anyone around the corner and I don't throw the Semtex. You don't throw the Semtex, I don't think I'm meant to throw it but uh, you only throw that if you've got extreme conditioning on and you manage to get here before they actually capture the C flag and I don't so uh, I highly suggest that you run that route or route. Oh my god did I really just say right? Oh, wow, I'm American. Been watching too many American commentators. I'm gonna have to unsub from everyone that's American because I can't be dealing with these American pronunciations. Next, I'll be saying aluminum and I'll have to just pff, shoot myself. Aluminium, guys, come on. Behave yourselves. Anyway, <laughs> I'm only messing about. Uh, but this first trick that you're watching where I solo cap the B flag whilst my teammate just watched me do it and defend it a couple of times is uh, it's a quick 16 gun kill streak that I managed to get at the start of the game. Unfortunately, I don't get the mob. I actually, um, it's as I said, it's relatively quick and uh, I'm getting a quad feed at the end. This is how I die, by the way. I'm getting a quad feed and I get throwing knife. I get freaking throwing knife. Of all things, it could have been a Semtex, it could have been martyrdom, it could have been dead man's hand. Just not a freaking throwing knife. Come on, that's just insulting. It's really bad, but um, this is the class that I'm using. You'll be able to see it on the screen now because a lot of people have been wondering. I use the two attachment, two attachment proficiency because it's one of the only two proficiencies along with breath that you don't get when you uh, unlock all the perks. So I believe that if you start out with it, it's sort of like once you've got all your perks, you've got an extra proficiency. And look, the rain knife. What is that crap? And I was just watching the girl come like, what? Anyway, uh, if you couldn't tell, this is... Um, from, recorded from theatre mode because my HDPVR fouled upon me and I, I'm quite lucky that I turned on the recording from theatre in the game because a lot of people say that it's reduced lag and I, I don't really see the difference to be honest with you guys I really don't see the difference so uh, if you are playing this game I would you know I'd go ahead and say just play uh, with the theatre mode recording on because if you get a 7 in 1 Semtex like G Unit 1, 2, 3, you want people to see that. So if you get a 23 second MYB uh, nading people off the B flag like G Unit, uh, you want people to see that, don't you? So you want that theatre recording on, in my opinion. And this is the way that me and Mike like to play Arkadon. We like to get the A flag and the B flag, and I'm just going to put a graphic on your screen uh, that shows where they are going to be spawning throughout the game because if you trap them at the C flag, Literally, they just keep spawning there. There's so many strong spawn points at the sea flag that they, they really can't uh, make it out of there. And I'm also going to show you the portable radar spot that I like to use, uh, which I didn't use this game for some reason because I'm an idiot and I tightly forgot about it. And I managed to die. And, uh, well, not die, but my portable radar gets killed. Um, it covers the back building or the back spawn that they have, uh, which is a very, very strong spawn. You'll see a load of montage clips where I am now, where I'm just looking in that room. It covers that spawn. Uh, very well. It covers the C flag and it covers if anyone's coming uh, from underneath C to go to B. So it covers all these uh, little alleyways and everything that you will uh, most likely want to be able to see if anyone's rushing that way. And uh, the portal radar, I know I talk about it every single video, but it's so good. And if you don't use it, I highly suggest that you do because it is amazing. And uh, I'm also going to show you a little graphic now of where I think I already um, showed you this but I just want to talk about it a little bit more this is where they're going to be spawning this is the back building I'll highlight it uh, that's where they will be spawning a lot of the time it's the montage clip room and if you rush that room and kill everyone around it you can carry on rushing to C flag because they will spawn at the back of the C flag and by the time you've got, uh, killed them at the C flag you can turn around and repeat the process and run up to that room again uh, because they, as I said, the, the spawn is just so strong, it's easy, it's really easy just to be keep killing them all the time. So, uh, this is just how me and Mike like to play Arkadon, and we like to try and uh, keep a relative amount of spawn or map control. Unfortunately, our teammates triple capped this game, and the game went over uh, relatively quickly, but uh, again, thwarted, thwarted, I love that word by the way, thwarted, um, couldn't get my 50 gun kill streak. 35, game ended, unfortunate, but. You know, it's still a pretty decent gameplay if you ask me. And this theatre mode recording really makes me look like I have like a, a full second of reaction time because it makes me look so bad. But I assure you that I'm a I'm a better player than he's conveyed on this theatre mode recording. Uh, it's just it's pretty poor. I don't like the theatre mode in Modern Warfare 3. It's like a step backwards from the one in Black Ops. Uh, you can't go into first person uh, if you didn't record it from anyone else. You can't bring up the scoreboard halfway through the game so I couldn't show you how many kills I was on after that first streak and uh, I'm pretty annoyed at my HDPVR you know kaplunked on me but it's working now so it's all good so 
the amount of martyrdoms that I had to dodge this game was unreal as well. Uh, there's two just in a row. And this is what I'm talking about. If you, if if I let them cap the C flag there, you know, I don't... The only reason I killed him off the C flag is because teammates were around and I wanted the kill. And uh, he wasn't going to cap it, so I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to kill this guy. So uh, that's the only reason I let them cap that. But, uh, guys, I do believe that I'm going to be able to hit 12,000 subscribers today. There's the MIB if you just want to... Uh, if you want to see everything blow up uh, like a little child that you are, <laughs> I know you want to. I know you want the video now. I know you are because you want to see everything blow up and you want to see how many kills I get with it. <laughs> it's true. I'll do that as well. Uh, what was I talking about? Yes, uh, I'm going to hit 12,000 subscribers today, which is a ridiculous amount. I only spent two days on 10,000 subscribers and I only spent two days on 11,000 subscribers. And the growth that my channel has been having these past like two weeks, I know that I mention this every video but it seems that every video I need to thank you for another milestone in terms of subscribers uh, but you know I just want to look my controller disconnects you can't see it because it's theatre mode and I was like there's a guy around the corner I'm on a gun streak and it was like a race to see look Martin again it was a race to see who could get there first my controller connecting or that guy with his martyrdom ready at that point uh, seeing if he could kill me but I get you know I get lucky in this gameplay quite a lot as you do uh, because you know people say like uh, why don't you die on 24 gun kill streaks or 23 uh, gun kill streaks when you one off your mob. It does happen to me. It happened to me on Bakari the other day where I joined late and uh, it was like a two and a half minute MOIB but I died one off and I capped the flags. I capped like three flags and our teammates won, uh, won the game even though they were losing when I joined and it would have been a very nice gameplay to watch but I died one off the mob so I deleted the file just because I wouldn't. I didn't want to be tempted to upload something that was close to a mob but wasn't so um, that's pretty much the gameplay guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the 35 gun kill streak. Uh, very unfortunate if you ask me not to uh, manage to get a little bit higher, but you know what? Teammates are going to cut flags and there's nothing you can do about it, but I hope I helped you in some aspects of this uh, gameplay. Um, in terms of you know where to put your portable radar, where to, uh, which flags to capture, and the spawn route and everything. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like rating. There'll be a couple of annotations on the screen now if you want to check out some of my other videos. And uh, the final score was, I believe, it will show up in a second, I believe it was like 61 and five or something i think it was 66 and six i don't know i'm really i'm really curious now come on come on gerald get that quick scope let me see the scoreboard come on gerald 59 and six there we go not a bad score but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you a little bit later on with another one and uh yeah thanks for watching bye